Okay, now rotate the shuttle around a bit. Make sure you get all sides nice and crispy. Hello guys, I'm Orbiter, your Welsh engineer, and you have to excuse me, I've still got a bit of a cold. But anyway, welcome back to Kerbal Quest, Series 2, Part 1, New Universe, to kill Kerbals in. Anyway, what I've decided here is to start off this series with a single launch, a single mission. We have to get the satellites up into orbit. And what have we got here anyway? We've got uh, Viper to C. We've all. Oh, let me see if you can see the name. Addison Answorth, Aquian Kerman, Quart Barker. Yeah, I've transferred some of the Kerbals that have not been on missions, or at least I checked in the last spreadsheet. So if you've asked being added as a Kerbal, don't worry, you will be. We've got multiple missions to do, we've got a lot to get and done in this series. Now, I decided in this series, we're not going to go... Uh, whoa, we're almost lost control here. We're not going to go straight towards Jewel, or anyway, like, straight towards Duna. I'm going to start off sort of like my own progression, my own sort of way that I'm going to do this, I suppose, bit by bit. The first thing I want to do is set up a communication network, because in this version, 1.2.2, you need to be able to relay signals back and forth, and I want to leave that feature on. I could disable it, but I want to leave that on, so if I send space probes out or spacecraft without any pilots, then they're going to have limited control. So then we need communications. So we're going to put four satellites in a geostationary orbit. And that, that is that this mission is for. But add back to your Kerbals. Don't worry if you've asked to be added in the last episode, which was saving Scott Manley in the last series, then you will be added. But I'm going to put a delay to when your Kerbals get added. If you ask in this episode, your Kerbals will definitely not be in the next episode, but maybe the next episode after that, depending where where you want to go, what you want your Kerbal to do. You know, say like, if you ask to go to Duna, Duna mission's going to be a lot later on. Anyway, now that that's sorted, let's get into comments as we normally do. From Sniper X01. I stopped doing rescue missions. Keep losing more people than I saved. My people now just accept death. Oh yeah first <laughs> yes i can understand why you go in there and i've had the promise before that you send a kerbal they get stranded you send another mission with a little load of kerbals and then you find uh, they're stranded as well or they die crashing trying to rescue them so who's gonna rescue the rescuers <laughs> anyway from wolfhound holy shit second comment also, do you plan on get getting the Kerbal System mod, which makes the gal galaxy a lot bigger? And can I be a scientist in the next series? Pretty please, senpai. Yes, you can be a Kerbal, don't worry. <laughs> and there we go, we got rid of this outer tank there. Now we've only got mono propeller to get ourselves into the final orbit, which is easy enough. And as you can see, we've got the four space probes, so we're going to detach one at a time, and we're going to get them up to an altitude, which is the altitude of geostation orbit. In other words, they're going to be high enough that they stay over the same point of the planet at the same time. Now, I don't have to do that, but I think I want to. I want to. That's a simple answer. And it's, you know, in real life, it's very handy because the satellite, communication satellite's right above you all the time. Anyway, back to Wolfhound's Comet. Yes, I want to put a solar system mod on there and whoops, something exploded. Nothing, luckily nothing is central. Anyway, what I want to do is install a mod which is a Beyond Kerbin or something like that. I can't remember the mod name, but it puts a procedurally generated stars around the main system. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to restart the save. I can always hyper edit these space probes in orbit and everything because there's only one mission so far I've been done. But, yeah, I want to do that. I want to expand it. I might want to do something different. So after we've done all our stuff, we're going to do that. Go on further. Go on to further solar systems as I'm selling. Anyway, from Simon Sebastian, wait. It was version 1.1.3. Uh, yes, in the last series, I couldn't update to 1.2 because... I wasn't able to use the advanced features, so it's no use in me updating the game. 
but now we can we are anyway as you just saw I was doing there I got the probe up to where is it 2863 kilometers and that is because that is the height of geostationary orbit now you have to make sure this orbit is circular and because a day on Kerbin is six hours, I think in this game, yeah, then the orbit of that probe will be six hours around the planet. In other words, it's going to follow the surface of the planet. There is a trick to doing a geostationary orbit as well, but I messed that technique up a bit because that my orbit wasn't perfect circular when I launched up into space. It was a bit of an inclination to it. Alright, let's launch the next probe and read out another comment. From Blaze, today is my birthday, but this will do, this will do, <laughs> well happy birthday, I'm sorry I missed it, but there you go, I don't know everybody's birthday, <laughs> from Commander Chachi, or Bater, when are you planning to do a live stream, I do them normally every Sunday, I'm not sure if I'm going to mix it up yet, because it's, it's the best time I can do a live stream a Sunday evening for me at between 7 to 9 GMT is when I normally start. So yeah, those are the times. <clears throat> I'm coughing here. I'm dying. Anyway, from Al Jazz Zandras Zinc. Hey, I see that you're still going to say my name. Please add me to your next series. I am a chemist. I can make some chemistry stuff in space. Stay healthy and keep up the good work. Yes, you shall be one of our scientists. I do plan on putting, you know, the first off, before we go to the man or any other missions, build a space station around Kirby. Now, we've got advanced mods in this series, like uh, advanced propulsion. I'm thinking of adding a warp propulsion system as well at some point, so we can go to further star systems. So, yes, we need your expertise to build those antimatter engines. Your chemistry will come in handy. If that's what chemists do. <laughs> anyway, from Randy Alian. <laughs> Rescue Scott Manley. I can't wait to see Scott's comment on this mission. I doubt if he watches this series. I'm not exactly a big YouTuber and I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm as at his level playing Kespi. Obviously, he's playing the, more than me, so he's going to know a lot more. And he knows a lot more about astronomy and stuff. That's because he's got a degree in it. So, yeah, if he does stumble upon this video, I don't think he... I wonder what he thinks. I don't know what he's going to think. <laughs> anyway, from no one here, are you going to return every Kerbal to Kerbin in the, in the series? Unfortunately, that in the last series, no. The reason is because I never gave a thought to it, so I uh, didn't, you know, give the Kerbals any ability to return, no craft or anything. I could send spacecraft out to do it, but that would take a lot of time. So perhaps in this series I may give a return possibilities to our Kerbals, especially since we've got the advanced technologies now. But anyway, back to the video, you may have noticed that I... When, during the shuttle's orbit, I went a quarter way around the planet, then launched a probe. As you can see, it's making this lovely spirally pattern, which you probably get from the spiral sets, or whatever you call them. We've got the cogs, and you've got the pens, and you make pretty patterns, yes. That's the stuff I'm on about. So what, I, what the plan was... <coughs> excuse me. What the plan was here is to get a probe out to each four corners that means you'd have probes covering all around the planet so say if we go to the man at least one of these probes will be in communication at all time with the man spacecraft <laughs> so that is the purpose of that and not that we probably need it but i thought it'd be fun anyway from is isaac 51 <laughs> yeah failed to pronounce my name <laughs> well i'll give it a try how is that from Robo Dragon 222. Whoa, what is that graphic mod? It looks insane. I'm not sure if you meant the re entry effect or perhaps if you meant uh, the environmental visual enhancement mod. Now, I've installed the environmental visual enhancement mod on here. No, it wasn't re entry effects, I don't think. 
because like we didn't have that in that last version the re-entry effects so yeah hopefully the mod is the same on here because it's it um updated and maybe slight differences i noticed the water wasn't exactly the same so yeah however it's an environmental visual enhancement mod i normally install it through ccan mod installer program so if you're looking for it have a look for that program and have a look on there and he also says have you noticed that there is insane space technology but no cities or any civilizations and kerbals come from nowhere of course kerbals come from nowhere they're created out of thin air in fact they all live at the kerbal space center <laughs> <clears throat> no, but there's a theory that Kerbals are plants, and that's why they're green. And their advanced technology comes from... Well, they've always built rockets. Even during the Stone Age, the Kerbals had invented rockets. It was invented before the wheels. <laughs> and in fact, rockets were in this game before wheels were in this game. So yes, there's some truth to that. Anyway, from, from a Brazilian hacker, Obeter. You cannot stop the series! I'm not. I'm starting a new one of the same series. It is so great to watch your videos, and you should have more subs than Scott Malley. I wouldn't say that much. Scott Malley gives quality in that his knowledge, I suppose. Especially his space knowledge. And his gaming knowledge is probably better than mine. On other games especially. And he also says... And where are the live streams? Don't worry, I was sick. I'm still a bit sick, so I'm not sure. Hopefully I'll be good enough to do a live stream. And my nose is blocked here. It's My voice sounds terrible to myself, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, from C. Zane. The new art is incredible. Oh yes, the new channel art, if anyone has not seen it, if you go on my main page, my YouTube channel page, or my YouTube banner uh, logo on my avatar, you see that it's changed, it's nice green, nice orbital letters and all that. And it looks cool to me. If you, it was done by Daniel, uh, have I got his name up on here? Probably not. It's from Daniel H and he, he started streaming on Twitch. So if you want to check him out. Well, his channel Twitch name is DHReal, one word. So yeah, go check him out. I'm not sure... I haven't catch caught one of his streams yet, so... I'll have to have a look at it myself. I'm already following him, so... I'll have to look, as I said. Anyway, let's get back to comments. From C. Zane. Oh, he said the channel arts is incredible. And is there a requirement to become incredible? No, you just have to ask. Or do you just have to add them if people ask just add people if they ask so if you asked yes you will be horrible from the walking raven heart Woo! current video if you're still look taking on kerbals of the next series i'd like to join any mission would be fantastic though i'd prefer a small rover somewhere on kirby just a quick drop anywhere convenient william hall says scott malley <laughs> yes yeah, scott malley everett dalton i like your new icon channel icon now let me get my popcorn watch, lol. <laughs> the official one shot creeper says, I still love seeing your videos. In a mission, can you add me for jewel space station or any jewel mission? I remember, add me as a Kerbal one shot creeper, as a pilot, or any role you want to add me to. Well, yes, we're going to add you as a pilot, but I'm. We're not going to jewel yet. That's going to be a long time in mission. Right, I'm just demonstrating here trying to go around the planet and showing that we're over the same spot of the planet trying to get different angles and stuff <laughs> but you can see us staying stationary over the top of the planet from Gabe M hey Orbiter could I be in the new series I don't care where I go just not Val okay no problem man it may be from the snide cookie 10 well I got no ideas on what to comment how about has a load of nonsense. <laughs> nah, that's too hard to say. Anywho, what is a great way to end Kerbal Quest? Now, wait for it, wait for it. Kerbal Quest, slightly safer, but probably will still be pretty dangerous. So, too bad for you if you volunteered. Uh, or, for a shorter day, Kerbal Quest. 
S S P W S P D B Y Y V. Yep, best name ever. Should have made a shorter comment though. Face farm. <laughs> no, that was a cool comment. I enjoyed that comment. From the randomizer. Can you add me as a pilot? As named Matt Kerman, no problem. From Clorox Bleach. <laughs> Clean you? Like from Clorox Bleach, Master Orbiterator. Got a new logo, yes I have. From Gaming Liam YouTube, How to Minecraft and More. Orbiter, you're the best. I thought that you need to comment back or shout out, but out in a video. But you do both, so once again, you're the best. Also, can you send me to Elo in the next curl quest? Thanks. Well, I can do, but it'll be a long time till we get to Elo. From Joanne Shomar. Hi, Orbiter. Great vid. If you make it a new series, it would be awesome to be a Kerbal. Keep up the great work. And Robo Dragon Toots 2 is right. Where do the Kerbals come from? And how do they just all of a sudden research random things and create rocket parts? Haha, <laughs> that is the Kerbal way. Oh yes, and I quit the game there. Ah, I've left that footage in. I'm going to leave it in. And then I came back to the game. <laughs> yes, I had to go and do things. Anyway, from Lipo842. Oh yeah, the Kerbals come from the ground. They're plants, don't you know it? The ground's green, the grass is green, Kerbals are green. It's obvious, it makes sense. <laughs> I think. Anyway, from Lipo842. Hi, Orator. May I be a Kerbal in the new series? And go somewhere. Thanks a lot. No problem. From Natural Predator. Dear Orbiter, I have been going through four months and counting of torture. Still don't have internet and so please forgive me. Also, if you're wondering how I am not talking to you, I'm using the last bit of data. Also, where do you I know where you live. I know your job. You live in Wales? Your name is Orbiter, and you're an engineer. <laughs> oh yeah, this is when I lost control of the shuttle. I'm sure you need to leave a bit of fuel in the shuttle to control of this one. This is a stock shuttle, by the way. I thought I'd use this to start off with. Something simple, something already built. Something I can uh, mess up. <laughs> anyway, from Grim Gaming one Yay, I helped save Scott, yes. And from Alan Engasser. Fellow electrical engineer, high five, high five back. <laughs> anyway, we've lost control. How are these Kerbals going to get back? I do not know. But uh, yeah, what I've decided here was, you know, we'll try to wait for the speed to slow down. Perhaps we can get control. Perhaps we can pilot this backwards and land it in reverse. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things were going through my head. I was... I realized that we didn't have any parachutes in this. So what I've decided to do here is the best thing ever. It worked before. It'll work again. Quick, out on EVAs. Viper. EVA, let go. Addison Unsworth. EVA, let go. And <laughs> Aquian, like EVA, let go. And then Coach Barker. Oops. I forgot to put the speed suits on. <laughs> yeah, one of the mods automatically puts them in IVA mode. Oh, Kerbals. Hi, survived. Awesome. Now let's look for the other Kerbals. Uh, yeah, we got the uh, wing, the spacecraft, and one Kerbal. In fact, the spacecraft survived. I could have left them all in there and they would have lived. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyway, that is what you get for requesting to be Kerbal. These are, in fact, Kerbals transferred from the last save, so they have no choice. And for Jarbahad, hey, Orbiter, as always, love the videos. The new channel outlook art looks excellent. Keep up the good work. And then Pepper, as his last comment, you forgot me. No, I didn't. You were there. You say helped save Scott Manley. In fact, you were in orbit around Duner. And I got you from the Duna space station and transfer you to the rescues craft. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button and whatnot. Subscribe if you're not and whatever. Leave comments. I'm Orbiter. Trust me. I'm an engineer.